this hair. This is giving me so much life! Hey, so I wanted to follow up with the video that I posted um, earlier this weekend and just give you some details. So the hair, everyone is raving about it. It's Afri Natural um, Isis Collection. It's wonderful. It moves, it feels like pressed natural hair, um, which means that it blends beautifully with the leave out that I have in. I use four packs of hair. I have really, really thick hair, so four packs works for me and it gives me um, a style that would look like my hair if it were blown out. I had to use 1B and 1, like a mix, the second time around because there was no 1B left in the store. So that's the only reason why there was a mix, but I would typically just go with a 1B. Um, let's talk more about the braided base and why I had to go back to the store and get three more packs of hair. So I first installed this hair um, with a base that was way too thick, like the braids were way too thick. I have really thick hair, like notoriously thick hair, like my hair breaks combs and brushes. So I should have known better when I installed that base and saw those really thick braids and that it wasn't just gonna lay well. So I had to go back in and had to change it a bit. Now, this would have been like the third time in the past two weeks I've installed this hair. No judgment. And um, this base that's in currently right now, um, with the one, two, three braids in the back is actually pretty cool. Actually, I should have put in five. That was that gave me the best sort of lay with the hair, but this is still really good. The leave out, I left out way too much this time around. So it's been a beast to try to blend it all in because my hair is shorter. Um, so I think next time and what I would recommend is to just leave out enough to cover your knots. Like you're really leaving out like a thin strip of hair not a lot of hair so right now my leave out is like the braids are here so this to this is leave out right and i mean you see it's the same sheen and texture as the hair so it's not bad it's just it's harder to brush and comb it all all into place um sometimes i'll have like a little piece sort of sticking sticking out install the technique i use was by this youtuber here I'll put her name there um uh, because I can't pronounce it, but it's really great. And I would definitely recommend that. And also her video is on like the first video in a playlist that I made around how to do invisible part crochet braids. So I definitely recommend that you go check that out. I'll put the link down in the comment box below. I love doing that. About this hair. <clears throat> Styling. So in the video, you're gonna see me like razor cutting and whatnot, and I can try to pull out the thing that I use to do that, this thing. Right, and you can get like replacement razors, and it really just gives you a cut that allows the hair to just sort of flow across, right? Yes, so you can do that. You can just use scissors, um, do what you want to do with that. And then I use regular scissors at the bottom to trim the ends and edges if it becomes like a little ragged, like these. It's time for this to get trimmed. Um, so it's it's a high, it's not a high maintenance, but it is. It's a high maintenance kind of hair because I always want it to look perfect. I always want my installs to look really natural. I want, it, I want you, when you see them, to be like, hmm, is that her hair? I can't really tell. So that's why I put so much into it, which is why I would say that this, by and large, for the styles that I tend to do is, is more high maintenance, but it's not annoying. It's definitely not annoying. It's something I can do on a day-to-day -day basis right before I have to get up and go to work. My nighttime routine is I actually split the hair in the middle and do two flat twists going straight down. Um, I think I actually have a video of that I might insert in here so you can see that and it leaves me with these like sort of nice soft waves in the morning. You can wear those if you want, I brush them out and I just tend to just wear the hair like this, it's fine. Is there anything else that you need to know? Um, the only other thing is that I did this so that there's a part going straight down the middle of my head and I can split the hair in half and I can wear the really um, popular style nowadays with the two big cornrows going straight down. So that's been really cool and fun to wear and rock. And it blends beautifully because I did the invisible tarp part technique. So that's great. I hope you learned a little bit from this video. And if you have any questions, again, let me know. But thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. I will see you later.